BWET Talk Radio. It's 5.30 p.m. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby and the Duke. Coming to you live from the Seagull Stadium in beautiful Port Nicola, our top story today is still the outbreak in Yelltown. Tell us about that, Duke. An area of farmland outside Yelltown is still in quarantine one week after the deaths of three people with fever-like symptoms. Senator Sylvia Thurlow, head of the Bureau of Public Health, gave a press conference earlier today. Let me reassure the people of Yelltown that the risk of contagion is very, very small. However, if you do experience a high fever, nosebleeds, or coffin fits, please stay calm, stay where you are, and call the RHC emergency hotline on triple one, triple one. That number again, triple one, triple one. I hope our listeners in Yelltown are feeling fit and healthy because you do not want to miss tonight's big game. That's right, Bobby. Port Nicholas Seagulls versus my team, the Blue Ridge Raccoons. Raccoons suck. Go Gulls. (laughs) <laughs> Whichever team you support, the atmosphere here in the stadium really is electric. Qué bueno el doblaje de, del juego. Hello? Harper, it is Rupert. Professor McBride, how are you? Not great, actually. There's a problem with my laptop. That's a very familiar phrase. I know, I know. But it won't charge. And I'm right in the middle of processing some crucial data. I'm supposed to be driving over to Port Nicola today and... Say no more, Professor. I'll grab my multi-tool from upstairs and be right over. (laughs) Oh, thank you, Harper. Uh, No problem. See you soon. Always the same. (laughs) Vale, el profesor tiene el portátil roto, no carga. Y me llama a mí para arreglarlo. Eh, Necesito la herramienta multifunción. Pegamento. Oh, glue. Always useful. Sí, como siempre, en todos estos juegos, si algo se te lo puedes llevar, llévatelo, porque será útil. Nah, nothing useful in there. In Yelltown, the weather can get pretty rough come winter. Folk like their coats. Bueno, ya hemos escuchado por la radio al principio que ya han empezado a encontrar los primeros casos de, de esta enfermedad que no se sabe lo que es. Pues la herramienta estará arriba en el cuarto. Mira, va a ser. Ah, mira, aquí está. Multiherramienta. There it is. Good old multi-tool. Let's go fix the professor's computer. Es una, una navaja suiz, suiza. Sí, eso ya lo había visto. Vale, tenemos aquí la multiherramienta, que es una especie de navaja suiza con un cuchillo. Un destornillador, tijeras, alicate, abre botellas, una lima y una llave inglesa. Pues con esto, solo con esto era lo que hacía falta para ir a a la casa del profesor. Hey there. Oh, Harper, thank goodness you're here. Come in. What's the trouble, Professor? That blasted battery is trying to murder me. You know, for a scientist, you don't always... It will not charge, and I'm in the middle of modeling the latest data from my research team. It's been processing all night. If I lose power now, I'll have to start over. I need this analysis for a very important presentation at PNU tomorrow. Can you fix it? Vale. Eh, ¿De qué va la presentación? What's the presentation about? It's my analysis of factors leading up to the recent outbreak. Yelltown fever? Yes. No. Well, the trouble is, we don't really know what kind of disease it is yet. The Dean of Medicine asked me to address the virology department tomorrow. 
We're hoping my research might help fight whatever killed those people. Is the fever of Yelltown really that dangerous? Is Yelltown fever really that dangerous? I'm afraid so. The little brute seems to be acutely virulent. By all accounts, it kills in a matter of hours, not days. Jeez, hours? What if I've got it? You'd know, Harper. I'm told symptoms start appearing immediately after infection. Wow, those poor people. Don't lose hope, son. There's still time to contain it and prevent an epidemic. Sí que es infecciosa, eh, y peligrosa también. No es asunto del gobierno ocuparse de algo tan serio. Isn't the government dealing with it? Ah, yes. They've placed us in the benevolent hands of the Rancho Health Corporation. I thought RHC said everything was under control. That's how you know they're cacking their pants, Harper. See, I know these people. And I know they'll struggle to fight this disease without my input. Pero puedes encontrar una cura? Can you find a cure? Uh, it's not quite as simple as finding a cure. But if anyone can beat this thing, it's my research team at PNU. They're the best in the country. All we need is a sample of the bugger. So anyway... Vale, vamos a arreglarle el portátil. Lo tenemos aquí atrás y vemos que el cable parece que está roto. It's nearly out of juice and it isn't charging. I don't get it. I replaced the battery like two weeks ago. La batería es nueva. Cambié de hace dos semanas, pero claro, el problema lo vemos aquí, el cable. Let's take a look here. There's your problem, Professor. The power cable's frayed. Dash and blast! How did I miss that? Eh, it's no biggie. I can patch it up with my multi-tool and some electrical tape. Oh, good. Yes, I'm sure I have some electrical tape. Somewhere. Uh, leave it with me, Professor. Vale, necesito la cinta aislante. ¿Estará en los cajones? Hmm, no electrical no. tape in here. Just some dusty old vinyl records. Those are plastic lleno de polvo. pressings, Harper. Remember, you used to listen to them on my old turntable. It's 2017, Professor. I listen to tapes now. ¿Y en el otro? No electrical tape here no. either. Why do you have so much junk? Junk? Out of interest, how tidy is your place right now? But I'm broke. You could use your sweet university dollar to hire a cleaner. Ha! Ah. This reminds me of when I used to help you out in the lab when I was a kid. Maybe we have different understandings of the word help. Vale, ¿dónde podría estar eh, aquí, no? En el armario. Ah, here's the electric. Ahí está la cinta aislante. Excellent. Can you fix a laptop now? Hopefully. Vale, dice que teníamos que usar la multiherramienta, pero ¿cuál? Las tijeras. Ah, Supongo. My multi tool. I don't think the scissors are sharp. No, las tijeras no. El cuchillo. I don't. Tampoco. Los alicates, lo único que me queda. Okay, I'll strip sí. the cable and remove the frayed wire. Now, let's get splicey. I'm <laughs> looking y... good. Ahora supongo que la cinta aislante. Okay, let's make this safe. Ish. All right, let's plug this baby in. Okay, she's charging now, Professor. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Harper. How much do I owe you? And this one's on me. But a guy as smart as you shouldn't have to call the village idiot every time his laptop goes kablooey. Harper, I hate to hear you do yourself down like that. You're not the village idiot. I really appreciate your help. Sure thing, anytime. Lab supplies, glassware, and <coughs> a lot of dusty academic stuff. Ay, no creo que tenga nada. Yo creo que nos podemos ir ya. Y aquí están los carteles. Emergency paramedics are here to protect your health, but why are they dressed like evil spacemen? Exacto. Están para protegerte, pero se protegen ellos mucho más. by Cardero.
Attention, Yelltown. This area is experiencing an outbreak. Know the symptoms. Wow, symptom list is long. Headache, fever, nausea, bleeding. Ew, gross. Bleeding from the nose, ears, mouth, or eyes? Mm-hmm. See the symptoms. Call the RHC emergency hotline on 111111. Well, I feel more relaxed. What the? Vale, está sangrando. Bueno, tiene el cartel justo al lado. Hello. Está bien. Jesus, are you no, right? <laughs> no está bien. Leave me alone. But you need a doctor or. Wait a minute. Is it... is it the fever? Please. <laughs> Please. Get away from me. Vale, tiene todos los síntomas. No puedo dejarte aquí así. I can't just leave you here. I have to keep going. Keep going? Are you crazy? We, we need Tienes to get to hospital the hospital. Mismo. Don't come near me. The blood... <laughs> the blood? Jesus. What should I do? I know where I'm going. Just sí. <laughs> forget you saw me. Uy, no sé por lo que está diciendo. Parece que no tiene nada que ver con que esté infectada, ¿eh? A lo mejor es otra cosa. Eh, no. A ver, voy a llamar a RHC. I'm going to call RHC. No, not RHC. Pero necesitas un médico. Need a doctor. I just need you to leave me alone. Sí, los de RHC seguro que pueden ayudarte. A lo mejor no tiene nada que ver con la infección. ¿eh? I don't want their help. I'm going to call them. Please, don't. Es que no me queda otra que llamarlo. What a piece of junk. Hey, wait a minute. That's Professor McBride's car. Something's not right. I better tell the professor. Jake's Compressor. professor. These things are expensive. Jake wouldn't leave it lying around unless he wasn't planning to come back. Necesito teléfono. Ah, aquí está. Era 111. Hmm, no, no, eso no era. Era. RHC Emergency Operator, what is your emergency? Uh, my name's Harper Pendrel. I just found a woman, and she's really sick. There's, there's blood everywhere. I think it's Yelltown fever. Where are you right now, sir? Um, I'm right at the town center, uh, Swenson Alley. A medical team is on its way. Please stay where you are until they arrive. Hey, hey you! Sir, please confirm that you will stay... Sorry, sorry, I, I gotta go. She needs help. Sir, please stay where... You idiot! Uh, excuse me? You... <laughs> let them right to me! Yo creo que está huyendo de, de los del RHC por alguna razón. Todavía no sabemos el por qué. Vienen a ayudarte. They're coming to help you. Shut up and listen. <laughs> If they find you with me, they'll take you in for testing too. D testing? But I'm not infected. If they take you, you'll end up watching the big game from a body bag. Pero estoy infectado. But, but, am I infected? If you do what I tell you, at least we have a chance. A ver, ¿qué quieres que haga? What do you want me to do? Go to the hotel. Find Hallowell. Find who? Reporter for the Times. Give the envelope. Envelope? What envelope? In the backpack. This, this is crazy. I... Take it, please. 
Uy, creo que... O oh, sea... Ah, no. Se ha muerto o se ha desmayado. Hey, are you... Todavía no. They're coming. Están llegando. A ver. Tengo que coger el sobre. Take it to Hallowell. Tell no one else. Ok, ok. I promise. Only... <coughs> Hallowell. They're coming. Go now. <coughs> vale, aquí veo el hotel. Veo un cartel. Ah, pero se ha ido por ahí. Se ha ido por el lado. Se la llevan. There she is. Please go. <coughs> you see the one who called it in? Uh oh. Capítulo 1. Ha vuelto a la casa del profesor. Awful. Should I have stayed with her? A ver el contenedor. People frown on dumpster diving, but you can turn up some cool stuff. Old appliances, old comic books. And that would be old Mrs. Denman's pantyhose. Well, I'm traumatized. Estoy traumatizado. A ver, tenemos el sobre. Y yo no sé si tendremos que volver a la casa del profesor. O es su casa. Es su casa. Vale, vamos al hotel. Que vimos el cartel que había. Vi una flecha. Yelltown Hotel this way. Ask about their shrimp breakfast. But seriously, do not eat their shrimp breakfast. Preguntar pero comer no. Vale, este es el hotel. He hecho polvo, eh. A ver, tenemos el libro de huéspedes. A ver si me dice, me va a decir que no, que no me va a ayudar. Hey, Morton. Hey there, Hoppo. Are you here to watch the big game? Everyone's downstairs already. Uh, I'd really love to watch it with them, but Mr. Seagull says I gotta stay on front desk. Vale, eh, en realidad estoy buscando un huésped. Actually, I'm looking for a guest. Someone called uh, Hellowell. I, I don't know his first name. Hellowell? I'm sorry, Harp. There's nobody here by that name. Mm. Pero me dijeron que Halliwell estaba aquí en el hotel. I was told to find Halliwell at the hotel. Told by who? Um, I just saw an infected woman in the street. What? An infected woman? Jeez, Harper. I know. It was pretty awful. What did you do? ¿Tú qué piensas? ¿Preguntarle su número? Llamé a los RHC. I knew it. You're a good guy, Hopper. Pretty scary. You didn't get infected, though, did you? Nah, I haven't gotten sick since we were kids. Phew. Well, well that lady was probably just talking crazy with the fever and all. Well, maybe. But it sounded so serious. Sounds like a wild goose chase to me, Harp. Es que no sé, que... Yo creo que Halliwell sí que está en el hotel. Pero a lo mejor no está con, con ese nombre. A ver, ¿estás seguro de que no, no hay ningún Halliwell en el hotel? Sure you don't have a guest called Halliwell? Yep. Sorry, Hopper. Pero tengo que encontrarlo. But I need to find him. Well, I'm sorry. We ain't got your Halliwell here. Okay, I guess I made a mistake. Sorry about that, Harp. Vale, tengo que irme. Voy a dejarlo. Voy a leer a ver si me lo deja leer el libro de huéspedes. You're not allowed back here, Harper. But I just want to. You know the rules, buddy. Mm. Mm. 
hay que sacarlo de ahí de alguna manera. Hopper, I told you, you can't be back. I got in real trouble when I let you store all that meat in the AC. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Morty's not usually this on the ball. Mr. Siegel must have drilled him. Vale, quizá tenga algo que ver con el partido. Vamos a hablarle del partido. Hey, Morton. Hey, buddy. No tenía ni idea que te gustara tanto el fútbol americano. I don't remember you being such a big football fan. Oh, oh, oh I am, I am. I, I dig the Sea Dogs. The Seagulls, Morton. Exactly. Go Gulls. Woo. Venga, anda. No, que no tienes ni idea de fútbol. Dile la verdad. You don't know a thing about football, do you? No, no. I, I'm a fan all the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of the Sea Dogs. Oh, damn it, Harper. Okay, I want to be a fan. Everybody's going to talk about the big game tomorrow. I don't want to be out of the loop when I, uh... <clears throat> Espera un momento, ¿hay un tío por medio de toda esta historia? Is this football thing about a guy? Well, uh... <laughs> Dada Bear's coming out of his cave. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I just may have a date with a certain gentleman acquaintance. Way to go, Morton. But he's so into sports, I don't want to look dumb. Vale, seguro que tiene que ir por ahí. Algo tengo que hacer relacionado con el fútbol para que salga de ahí. Never mind. A ver qué tenemos por aquí. Comida para peces. Me la llevo. Detergente. Me lo llevo. Tubo de acuario. También me lo llevo. Y aquí vemos un acuario. Nice aquarium. Lights, treasure chest, some kind of demonic skull. This fish tank is better than the rooms. A length of aquarium hose I took from the hotel. Vale, esto usarlo con... No, no creo. That old chair has seen a lot. El menú. I wonder why they bother printing a menu. No one comes down here to read. Puedo grabar el partido. Tengo un montón de video cassette y tengo el reproductor. Podría grabar el partido. Vale, son un montón de cintas y supongo que todas serán de, de el, del mismo equipo, de los Seagulls. That's quite a stack of old VHS tapes. I wonder what's on these. A ver la camiseta. A framed football shirt. The sweat patches really follow you around the room. Hello there. Hey, what can I get you? Estoy buscando a Hellywell. I'm looking for Hellowell. Uh, for who? Hellowell, a reporter for the Times. I don't know a Hellowell. Sorry, buddy. Tiene que ser un pseudónimo. I see you threw a pregame party. Sure did. You're welcome to stay and watch it with us. I like your banner. Thanks. Times like these, you gotta do what you can to keep smiling. We even watched a bunch of classic Seagulls games on tape. It was great. Boo! Seagulls suck! <laughs> so how's the game going? 
Pretty exciting. You should watch it with us. We could use a few more raccoon supporters over here. If I wanted to see grown men fight over a piece of leather, I'd go to Discount Shoe Mart. They're showing the game there too? Huh. <laughs> Vale, ponme algo bueno Barkeep. de beber, a ver si se lleva Bar una bebida. Give me a beer. Sure. You got your ID? ID? No problem. Um, uh, I guess I must have left it in my other pants. I can't serve you unless you can prove you're over 21. Uh, I can sing the entire Samurai Squad theme song. The original, not not the remake. No ID, no alcohol, <laughs> buddy. Vale, pero sí que me puede dar un zumo de naranja, ¿no? I'll have an OJ. Sorry, we don't have orange juice. No tienen. ¿Y de manzana? Apple juice? I'm afraid we do not. ¿Y de ser una? Sure. ID? Um, I can't... Uh, no. Vale. Eh, necesito... That lamp is the reason the tanning salon went out of business. No sé si volviendo a su casa encontrar algún carne. Bueno, el ascensor. Sorry, Hopper. Guess only. Solo para huéspedes. Me imagino que tendré que volver a casa. El generador de reserva. Hmm. Sin el generador no pueden ver el partido. Quizá tenga que volver a casa y y encontrar. Leaving your paint lying around is very bad paintsmanship. Anyone could come along and take it. Se lo va a llevar. I guess no one will miss this. Sí, se lo va a llevar. Bueno, encontrar en su casa un un carnet. Ah, las medias que saqué antes, yo creía... I'm not gonna take... Ah, no voy a llevarme las medias. Am I? ¿Verdad? O oh, sí, si se las va a llevar, claro que sí. <laughs> well, maybe it'll be useful. I just hope no one saw me take it. Sí que se las va a llevar. Vale, tengo las medias, pintura, tubo, que no sé si mezclarlo con la pintura. I wouldn't know how to use the hose here. Comida para peces, parece que un limpia cristales, el sobre, cinta aislante y pegamento, aparte de la herramienta multi, multifunción. Vale, a ver si encuentro algún carnet por aquí. En los pantalones. Ah, I knew I left my ID in here. Bien, a ver si ahora me da la cerveza. Supongo que sí. Hello there. Hey, what can I get you? About that drink. What's your poison? Give me a beer. Sure. You got your ID? Of course. Here it is. Cool. Here you go. 
Thanks. Vale, tengo una cerveza que no sé para qué sirve, pero... Mientras tenga objetos... Vale, vamos a ver si les puedo... Si puedo romper el generador este. Always smart to have a backup generator. I helped Mr. Siegel install it back when I was in high school. This doesn't feel like a pincer. No, parece que. Ah, the junkyard. I wonder if Leroy's home. Aquí un televisor, a ver. The TV VCR combo, the pinnacle of home entertainment systems. This thing's actually in pretty good condition. I wonder if it works. I'm sure Leroy won't mind if I borrow it. Vale, vale, puede ser. <laughs> Who throws away a TV, especially one with a built-in VCR? Puede ser que esto sirva para el recepcionista. Chatarra medieval, chatarra milenaria, motor de coche, puede que nos sirva más adelante. Bueno, quizá tengamos que traer el coche del profesor que vimos antes, que estaba en el taller, traerlo hasta aquí y ponerle un motor de alguna manera. Vamos a darle el televisor. Look what I found. Hey, thanks, Hopper. Can you get the game on it? I hope so. Just give me a minute. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need to connect it to an outlet. Oh, el cable está roto. Alguien ha cortado el cable de corriente. Vale, necesito un cable. Necesito un cable. No sé si en la chatarrería o en su casa otra vez. I always keep a keen eye on the scrap electronics. I found some sweet radio stuff in there in the past. Looks like business is... rusting. It's not as busy as it was back when I worked for Leroy. No creo que esté aquí. It amazes me how much stuff regular folk just throw away. That's planned obsolescence for you. Pulverizador para pintura. Y tengo aquí pintura. A ver. Oh my Jesus. A paint atomizer. Oh man, these things are so cool. I always wanted one of these for my model planes, but Calvin said they made too much mess. I wonder if this baby still works. I'm sure Leroy wouldn't deny me a chance to fulfill a childhood dream. No, no ha protestado. Qué raro. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hopper. How you doing? ¿Estás viendo el partido? Are you watching the game? Of course. I never miss the big finale. Want to join me? No, thanks. I got too much on my mind today. Not me. <laughs> How's the junkyard business? Ah, oh, things have changed since you used to work for me, Hop. Yes, sir. Things have changed. Leroy, you're currently watching a football game instead of working. Things haven't changed that much. <laughs> no ha cambiado nada. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. 
No creo que tenga nada con este por ahora. Por aquí. No, este es el final. Vale, eh, yo creo que tendría que volver a la casa. E intentar buscar un cable. Ah, aquí hay un cable. Va a ser este. Huh, that loose cable makes it a little difficult to read the sign. Let's fix that, Pendrel. Ah, whoops. Vale, pero que haya un cable no significa que tenga enchufe. I borrowed this power. Sí, prestado. Okay, let's see. Oh, hold up. I need to insulate the exposed wires before I connect the cable to the outlet. I vale. don't want to be responsible for electrocuting Morton. Not again. <laughs> no de nuevo. Eh, lo mismo que hicimos antes, cinta aislante. This should do the trick. Pues el cable tenía enchufe y todo. Ah, man. It won't turn on. Guess that's why it got junked. Eh, ¿puedo arreglarlo aquí? This doesn't feel like a pincer situation. Sí, lo va a arreglar. Ajá. The connection is broken by a cold solder joint. Can you fix it back at your place? What do you think, Mort? Pues nada, hay que volver a casa y arreglarlo. Ya hemos visto que tenía una estación de soldadura en su casa, así que... Vale, arriba en el cuarto tendría una estación. Estación de radio, soldador. Ok, let's repair this bad boy. That should do it. The TV should be working again. Vamos a ver, vamos a probar. Okay, Mort, here you go. Did you fix it? Can you put the game on? Sure, buddy. No va a funcionar, ya verás. Thank you, Hopper. Esto no va a funcionar. It's working, but I don't think I can get Cable Sports HD on it. Claro. Pero quizá le podamos engañar poniéndole una cinta de un partido antiguo. That's quite a stack of old VHS tapes. I wonder what's on these. It's an old VCR. Hmm, good condition too. No me deja llevarme nada.
I love tennis. Tennis. <laughs> I wonder what's on. Hi. Hey. Howdy. ¿Qué son todas estas cintas de video? With all these old videotapes. We had an awesome pregame party this afternoon. Ah, uh, yeah, awesome. We watched five decades of Seagull's highlights to get us in the mood. Me da la impresión de que no todos los invitados se lo pasaron igual de bien. No entiendo eso. Both enjoy the pregame party. Yeah, my unlucky friend here is a raccoons fan. The raccoons are awesome, and your stupid party was boring as hell. Oh, it was amazing. We crushed the vandals in the playoffs. My personal highlight. Boring. The division final between the seagulls and the wolves. Oh man. Mondo boring. Oh, only one game against the raccoons. And naturally, the raccoons got their asses handed to them. <sighs> Recuerdo que el partido contra los Wolves. I remember that Wolves game. I tell you, Evan Taylor played the game of his life. It was a fluke. Fluke nothing. Taylor was a genius. Six touchdown passes. Must have been May 1999. Ajá. Mayo del, no, del 99. Vale, espera. Anyway. Lo primero que voy a necesitar. Conocí a un tal Halliwell. A ver. Someone called Halliwell. Sure do. Hellywell White, running back for the Seagulls, 92-94. I think he meant a guest, Merle. Sorry, we don't know any Hellywell. I gotta go. See you later. Vale, Goodbye. creo que vamos a necesitar saber, que no lo he mirado, contra quién juegan hoy. Están en el cartel que está fuera. Los Seagulls contra los Raccoons. Vale, entonces necesitamos ahora eh, encontrar una de las cintas que jueguen estos dos equipos. una de estas cintas y se lo tendré que preguntar a los hinchas hey howdy let's talk about the pregame party not again <laughs> eh, vandals wolves raccoons I'm sure the seagulls versus raccoons game was fun to watch oh boy You got lucky that time, Merle. 86 was a long time. Ago, got a score to settle. Bring it on. Fue en el 86. Anyway. I gotta go. See you later. Goodbye. Es esta. Es esta cinta la que me tengo que llevar, pero no se la lleva. Hmm. Ah, sí, sí que se la lleva. Ahora sí. Porque ahora descubrió cuál era. Entonces esa es la, la correcta. Le puedo poner esta cinta antigua y creerá que está viendo el partido. Ooh, thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Vale, ahora podemos mirar el libro de huéspedes sin que se entere. Amazing. There actually are some guests in this hotel. Uh, no Hellowell, though. 
de alguna manera hay que descubrir quién es Helliwell. Llamo... Vale, tengo que ir llamando. Aquí me dice el... el número de habitación. Y aquí me está diciendo que este número, el 555-2368, seguido del número de habitación, llamo a esa habitación. Que tendría que hacer llamarlas a todas las habitaciones a ver si alguno... Vamos a probar. 555-2368 y el 10. La habitación 10. Hello, sir. This is front desk. Mr. Carrington speaking. Busco una persona llamada Helliwell. I'm looking for a person by the name of Helliwell. Then you're calling the wrong room. Good day. Es que no sé si Helliwell el real me va a decir sí soy yo. No creo que me lo diga, aunque acierte. a llamar porque me daba dos, dos opciones. Hello, sir. This is front desk. You again. What is it? Está esperando un mensaje. Are you expecting a message? What kind of message? Um, I have a message, but I'm not sure if it's for you. Hmm. Alive, son. Is this a joke? Unless you have a message for Huxley Carrington with two R's, leave me in peace. Vale. Creo que lo del mensaje va a ser más Sí. Entonces ahí sí que me va a decir que es la persona correcta. Eh, 10, 11. Hello, is that uh, Mr. Hubbard? Oh, why, yes, Vern Hubbard here. Are you waiting for some kind of message? Always, my wife. <laughs> Mi esposa. Sometimes I'll find an old fishing fly in a wrong drawer, and I'll think that's Martha. Sorry, I think we're talking at cross purposes. No, Why, este no va a ser. Nothing more dangerous than cross purposes. Uh, thanks, old timer. Vale, siguiente el 23. Bueno, vamos a ir por orden. El 13. Hello, Dr. Wells. This is the front desk. Yes. Are you expecting a message? Yes. My meeting with the biofiltration committee was no, canceled. Esto no. The Yelltown Municipal Sewage Facility is all in a flap because a few farmers have got the sniffles. Meanwhile, I'm stuck in this dive waiting for them to reschedule. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this message isn't from a biofiltration committee guy. Blast. Well, when they call, put them straight through. Vale, el 13, el 20 ahora. Hello, uh, Ursula James. This is the front desk. Yes. Are you waiting for a message of some kind? Well, I was expecting to meet a member of the bird watching society. Um, I, I don't no, think este it's about bird watching. Then I guess you have the wrong room. Sorry. Vale, ¿qué queda? El 23 y el 30. O el 21. 21. Hey, this is the front desk. Pastor Isaac McCaffrey here. Are you waiting for a message? Most definitely. 
My mind is always open to heavenly inspiration. No, I mean a real message, like uh, something in an envelope. Ah, I gladly accept the Donativo, dice. Isaac McCaffrey Ministry. Um, I don't think there's any cash in this envelope. Could there be a check? <laughs> I doubt it. Tampoco. Todo ahora sí, ¿no? El 23 y el 30. Va a ser el último. Hello, Miss Clark. Yes. What now? Are you expecting a package of some kind? Maybe. What kind of package? Well, it's sort of a secret. Like a secret you might smoke. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Damn it. Hogan, tell your friend to Ya verás, si no es este no sé lo que hacer. 5 5 5 2 3 6 8 30. Si no es este. Hello, Mrs. Winham. This is the front desk. Okay, yes. Hello. Are you waiting for some kind of message? I always read the newspaper for inspiration. I am a writer, you see. I write. Do you read the Port Nicola Times? No, I take the Arbutus Hill voice. The classifieds in the voice are much spicier. Classified ads. A coded message between lovers. That's interesting. No, no hay ninguno. ¿Y qué hago ahora? Llamarles y preguntarles a todos por el nombre. Eso no lo he hecho, solo lo hice con el primero. A ver, periódicos. Zarlow interviene en el caso de una enfermedad misteriosa. Reportero del Port Nico. El gobernador del distrito eh, comunicó el lunes que la enfermedad causante de las tres muertes en la área de Yeltan está siendo investigada por la Comisión de Sanidad. En una declaración junto a la senadora Silvia Thurlow en la Comisión de Sanidad, Meitinglay dijo que la enfermedad es desconocida y se está tratando como un riesgo sanitario relevante debido a sus agudos síntomas. Las tres víctimas no han sido identificadas, fueron descubiertas el martes pasado en una granja abandonada por paramédicos que habían recibido un aviso anónimo. La Unidad de Acción de Emergencia de la Rancho Health Corporation ha sometido la zona a cuarentena y ha pedido a los médicos, a los medios de comunicación que mantengan la localización en secreto. Meeting Light advirtió a los habitantes de Yelltown acerca de los síntomas de todos hemorragia nasal, fiebre alta y desaconsejó cualquier viaje o salida innecesaria. No obstante, el gobernador aseguró que la probabilidad de propagación de la enfermedad es baja y subrayó que el procedimiento de cuarentena de RHC ha probado su e eficacia en casos similares. El gobernador Meeting Light no se pronunció al respecto del origen de la enfermedad, es decir, si la ya bautizada como fiebre de Yelltown surge de un virus conocido por los expertos o quizá de un patógeno nuevo para las ciencias médicas. Yelltown, en ciudad industrial de 7.000 habitantes, ha sufrido daños considerables en los últimos tiempos. No nos da ninguna pista de nada, ¿no? Ah, mira, pero si nota un número. Quizá podamos saber si uno de los... Si uno de estos trabaja en el periódico. ¿Por qué tenemos dos periódicos? Ah, porque son diferentes. A ver, 4242777, vamos a probar. Port Nicola Times News Desk. I'm afraid the night editor is just leaving. Hey, sorry to bother you. I have an inquiry about a journalist called Hellowell. Hellowell? Oh, Hellowell. Yes, she's done some freelancing for us recently. She has. Anything I might have read. She's contributed to our coverage of the outbreak in Yelltown. 
May I ask what this is regarding? ¿Podría darme su número? Me va a decir que no. Can you give me her number? We don't give out personal contacts for our reporters. You can leave a message. No, I need to talk to her. I think it's pretty urgent. I'm sorry, sir. I just can't give out personal information. Yeah, I, I get it, but... Thank you for calling. Creep. Freaky. Bueno, sabemos que es una mujer. Sabemos que es una mujer. Pero casi todas son mujeres aquí. Vale, y si le preguntamos a este, a lo mejor sabe algo. Totally engrossed in the game. ¿Hm? Who's gross? Vale, aquí dice que Verne Havar es vegetariana. Vegetariana, no sé si era una mujer o no. Y Isaac le gusta venir muy tarde. Aquí no vamos a sacar nada más. A no ser que le pueda dejar un mensaje. Que eso no lo he probado. se puede hablar otra vez oye hemos conseguido lo que queríamos de esa llamada que es que es, es una mujer es lo único que sabemos This is the that woman gave me. y este otro número 343311 you've reached the L Town Times answer phone if you're interested in placing an ad please Tampoco. Ahí nada. Is that uh, Mr. Hubbard? Oh, este es un hombre. Is everything in order? Well, I had hoped to do a little fishing, but they're saying seniors. Under... That's probably for the. Huh. Vale, vale. Where? Where? <laughs> vale, vamos a probar con el 23. Hello, Miss Clark. Yes. What now? Esta mañana he leído un artículo muy interesante del periódico. I read an interesting article in the paper today. Read an article, did you, hon? Okay, you got me. Hope you're happy. Octavia Clark isn't your real name, is it? Ah, ahí está. Es ella. Es ella. Who do you work for, Inquirer? Or are you one of Daddy's goons? Can a real estate heiress check into a hotel without you jackals swooping like a flock of wolves? I'm um, sorry, wrong number. Pues no, era ella. Vale, probemos con Úrsula. O con Úrsula, a ver. Hello, Miss Clark. Yes. What now? 
O esta es la que acabo de llamar, no me acuerdo. No, esta es la misma que acabo de llamar, vale, no. 23 es 20, es el 20. Hello, uh, Ursula James. This is the front desk. What do you want? I read an interesting article in the paper today. The Port Nicola Times printed a piece about this Yelltown fever business. They... did they? I don't know anything about the outbreak. I'm just here for bird watching. You should read it. A base de esta. Nunca me había dejado pasar de aquí, pero a ver, es súper interesante. Super interesting. It's really well written and informative. Well, the Port Nicola Times is a quality paper. What's it got to do with me? I'm just a bird watcher. Apparently, a rare golden eagle has been sighted in this area. You seen the Yelltown Eagle yet? The Yelltown Eagle? Everyone around here knows the Yelltown Eagle. I'm sure someone in the bird watching society would have mentioned it. Oh, the Yelltown Eagle. Ah, <laughs> Pepillo. Yes, of course. A magnificent creature. The Yelltown Eagle existe. was a dive bar <laughs> just down a year ago. Oh, crap. <laughs> Miss Halliwell, I have a message for you. I think it's important. Would you mind if we met in person? My ear kind of aches from the phone. Jesus Christ. Okay, go down into the hotel bar and wait for me there. H how do I know you won't leave the hotel? You don't. Vale, por fin. Me ha costado, eh. Hello? Hello, well? My name's Harper Pendrel. You got a message for me? First, tell me what's going on. Who are you hiding from? The message, or we're done here. Here, take it. How did you get this? It was pretty bad. I ran into this lady in the street, and she... Well, I'm pretty sure she had Yelltown fever. She was too sick to walk. God damn it, Patty. Tell me the whole story. I called in RHC. Before they took her away, she told me to bring you that envelope. How come RHC didn't take you away, too? I, um... I, I ran off. You ran off? Seriously? What if you caught the infection? I, I know a guy who can check me out, but I feel fine. Seriously. It's years since I got sick. My immune system is like a ninja or something. Now, can you drop the secret agent crap and talk to me? I don't trust you, Pendril. I will never sit in this chair. Not after what Leroy did to it. What does it say? <sighs> That's incomprehensible. Some kind of code or formula. There are numbers and wave-like symbols. Why would Patty bother with this Nancy Drew crap? No creo que sea un código. Think it's a code exactly. Those are electronic symbols. Something to do with radio frequencies. What are you, a radio engineer now? I'm just a handyman, but I dabble. Well, I don't need your help, handyman. I think you do need my help with that message. Well, maybe. I got all kinds of electronic stuff at home, see? Would you let me take a look at the note? Well, how do I know I can trust you? Who was that infected lady? A reporter never reveals her sources. But I already know who she is. I just don't know who she is. Let me know how you get on with that. You can definitely trust me. I've got no idea what's happening, and I'm not smart enough to double-cross anyone. But I'm good with electronics, and I feel like I owe it to that lady. Well, okay. But make a copy of it. Tenemos una copia del mensaje. Y ahora hay que volver a casa y ver qué tiene que ver, cómo podemos decodificar o ver qué es ese mensaje.
Vale, como tiene que ver con frecuencias de radio, aquí vi que tenía una estación de radio. I can't make those things work together. No. That's right, ladies. It's my ham radio. Hey, Hopper, we love you. Your ham radio is so cool. Calm yourselves, ladies, please. Vale, a ver qué podemos tocar aquí. Esto que se parece mucho a esto que tenemos aquí. Ah, bueno, los tres se parecen. Así que casualmente tengo tres números. Tengo tres lugares. Vamos a poner los tres ahí. 15, 31. Ahí está, 15, 31. Y 41 grados. Ey, ¿por qué se ha movido esto? ¿1705? A ver. Este, no. El de 1700 va a ser aquí. 1.705 con 38. Casi. Qué difícil. Ahí. Y 246 grados. Y el último es 96906. Ahí está. Y 33. Y ahora para que no sea esto. Ahí. Vale, y el último número 664 con 93 podría ser de aquí. Ahí está. Hey, oh, what's this? Field experiment phase one. What the hell? 31st of July. Yelltown unit. Yelltown? 5th of August. Arbutus Hill unit. What is this? Field experiment phase three. 11th of August. I better get hella well. Well, what do you think? Very interesting. You did good, Harper. I've come across number stations before, but nothing like this. The Yelltown date. It's today's date. That's a little... scary, isn't it? What does it mean? I think it means... something is going to happen here tonight. What kind of something? That's what I want to find out. Is this connected to that infected woman? Well... This is the message she wanted me to hear. Is it about Yelltown fever? Some kind of quarantine, maybe? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Uh. Thanks for your help, Harper. I really appreciate it. I'm Jane, by the way. Thanks. I'm Harper. Yes, I know you are. Geez, you ever have a day where you regret getting out of bed? You call this crummy mattress a bed? For your information. That is a very expensive astronaut mattress. Which astronaut? Like of the space dog? N no. Hey! 
See you, Harper. Come get me at the hotel if you find any more cryptic messages. ¿Y ahora? Boy, that signal was creepy. What's this all about? Quizá ir a la casa del profesor. Para que me haga un chequeo por si estoy infectado, no sé. Harper, I didn't expect... What's the matter? I... I saw an infected woman. What? Are you sure? Yeah, it, it was terrible. She, she had blood coming out of her mouth and nose everywhere. What if I caught Yelltown fever? What if that happens to me? <sighs> Calm down, son. If you're infected, then squalling like a bear won't help. Come here, let me check you for symptoms. Well, it seems you're a very lucky boy, Harper. So I'm... You're fine. You're not showing any of the symptoms. Clean bill of health. Oh, thanks, Professor. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm not sure she had anything to do with it. La chica infectada estaba diciendo cosas muy extrañas. The woman was talking kind of strange. How do you mean? Me dio un sobre para una persona que se apellida Halliwell. She gave me an envelope for a reporter named Halliwell. I think there's something not right going on here. Harper, I've studied countless outbreaks like this. Sometimes the panic and the fear are more deadly than the disease. Don't get caught up in paranoia. Remember, the only way to beat this thing is to wallop it with some cold, hard science. Llamé HRHC. They'll be able to help her, right? They'll take her to the RHC emergency treatment camp and put her on life support. Then, if her condition stabilizes, they'll move her to a specialist hospital. So I did the right thing. She was dying. What choice did you have? We need to get out of town. This disease is killing people. Try to stay calm, son. Why don't you come stay with me in Port Nicola for a while? I, I haven't been to Nicola since I dropped out of PNU. Then it's settled. I'll drive you over as soon as I've finished my presentation. Hold up a minute. That's a thought. This... This is excellent news, Harper. What are you talking about? What an opportunity. I'm going to need your help. What are you planning, Professor? A blood sample from that infected woman would be the first step towards a vaccine. I need you to sneak into the treatment camp and get one for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't you just ask the RHC guys? Bah! <laughs> Rancho want a Rancho brand vaccine. They don't share data with lowly academics. Really? But people are dying. Exactly. With my research, I might be the only one who can crack this thing. Help me, Harper. Help the world. Oh, crap. Me está proponiendo en serio este, el, este plan de locos. Are you really serious about this crazy plan? Deadly serious. This is too good an opportunity to let pass. You'll be taking a big risk by stealing a blood sample, but you might also make history. Do me this kindness, and then we'll drive to Port Nicola together. <sighs> and uh, what will you do while I play gopher? Science, my boy. I have to finish tomorrow's presentation and pack up my lab. ¿Por qué no te cuelas tú en la base de RHC? They're running high security, an undisclosed location accessible only to RHC staff. Quick reminder, I'm not RHC staff. Ah, I have an old bio suit. Same basic spec as RHC issue. I'd never get into it now, but you'd be a perfect fit. Damn, I knew keeping an amazing shape was a mistake. A ver, ¿dónde está el traje? Aquí. So, where is this bio suit? Ah, yes. Here you go.
Ugh, rubber. It's polyester. As you see, with a couple of superficial alterations, it'll be a perfect match for the RHC one. So, I pimp the suit, swipe a blood sample, and then we get out of town? Yes. Although the last thing we want to do is involve a pimp. Mi tu coche en el taller de Jake está completamente en ruina. I saw your car in Jake's shop. It looks like a total wreck. No, no, no. Jake's just fixing the brake light. He said he'd drop around today. I think he lied to you, Professor. Looks like Jake left town, and I think he maybe cannibalized your jalopy for spare parts. Damnation! We'll need that car to get to the treatment camp. And Port Nicola. Vale, tu coche está reducido a chatarra. ¿Y ahora qué? garbage. What now? I hate to ask Harper. Do you think you could take a look at her? You see, I have to. Keep doing science. I get it. Give me the keys. Thank you. We need that car working. Pues nada, arreglar el coche. Y va a tener algo que ver el. A ver, aquí había algo. Va a tener algo que ver el motor que vimos en la chatarra. Aquí no hay nada nuevo. She isn't looking good. Cerrado, a ver la llave. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, holy moly. The engine's been stripped. Me lo imaginaba. That's the radiator. Radiador. I think the engine needs some more coolant. Necesita refrigerante. An old-fashioned copper brass radiator. No, pero el motor sigue ahí. Oh, there are two spark plugs missing. This is a ridiculous condition. At least the oil level is fine. Vale, el aceite está bien. El manguito del radiador está mal. Has a huge leak. No sé si se podrá arreglar el manguito con. Ah, no lo tengo. Tengo la cinta. Con el tubo del acuario. I wouldn't know how to use the hose here. That radiator hose needs replacing. Bueno, la pintura supongo que irá en el, en el pulverizador. Huh. The atomizer nozzle seems to be blocked. I should clean it first. Debería limpiar la boquilla primero. Con el limpiador. This should clean that blocked nozzle. Ahora sí, ¿no? Okay. Lo que no sé es dónde se va a usar. Las medias. Vida para peces. Pegamento. I'd rather not. I can't do that. It's low on coolant. Refrigerante. Podemos usar la cerveza como refrigerante aquí. I better not get beer on that. No. Ah, el tapón, claro. I better not get beer. Dang, the car battery. Falta la batería. Vale, nos faltan dos bujías, la batería. It looks like the fan. La correa de transmisión también le falta. El manguito del radiador, que le falta todo. Vale, voy a ir a la chatarra, que seguramente es ahí donde hay que conseguir todo esto. Won't be long until the crane becomes part of the junk pile itself, the circle of life.
Maybe there's something useful in that old car engine. I should ask Leroy. Hay que preguntarle a Leroy antes. Me va a pedir algo a cambio. Hey Leroy. Hey Hop. ¿Te importa si revuelvo un poco la chatarra? Es lo único que se me ocurre. No le dice nada del motor. ¿Te importa si me borro un poco de junk de la yard? Working on a new project, ¿eh? Sure, take what you need. But please leave all the car parts. I'm turning a good profit on them right now. Um, actually. <laughs> es que eso es lo que quiero. Estoy intentando reparar un coche estropeado. I'm trying to fix this broken down car. Could I please take some spare car parts from the junkyard? Papa, you know I'm always ready to help a buddy. You done me more good turns than I can count. Oh, thanks, Leroy. But car parts fetch a good price. I might need just. Lo sabía. One Quiere more. algo a cambio. Eh, ¿Qué quieres que haga? Sure. What do you want? Could you get me a drink? Una cerveza. Mira, la tengo. Tengo la cerveza. Serve me after I, you know, with the thing. Yeah, I remember. I don't. I blacked out after the fondue fountain. Come on, buddy. Just bring me a drink, and you can have whatever car parts you need. Okay, okay, it's a deal. Eh, venga. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. Here's your drink, Leroy. Ooh, thanks, Hop. You come talk to me about those car parts anytime. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. En cuanto a los recambios del coche. Yep. Necesito algo de refrigerante. Yeah, Jake had some bottles of coolant in his garage. I picked them up when he left. Better than let the teens try to drink them or smoke them, am I right? Very thoughtful. Ain't I a saint? Correa de transmisión. Nah, no resale value. Oh, damn it, I need one. You can always try jewelry rigging it with something elastic. Vale, ah, las medias, ¿no? Las medias me servirá para eso. Batería de coche. Yeah, I was using one to jumpstart a tractor early in the week. Seemed to have plenty of juice in it. Here. Yeah. Any spark plugs? Nah, unless there might be some in the old car engine hanging on the crane. Great. Can I have them? Sure, if you can get it down yourself. I'm watching the game. Sure thing. Y el manguito del radiador. I do. I tried to use it to connect the gas cylinder to my stove, but it wasn't the right size for the nozzle. Thought I'd better give up before I blew the caravan to Kingdom Come. Let's talk about something else. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. Vale, a ver si me acuerdo de todo. Sé que hay que bajar. Hay que bajar el motor y de ahí sacar las bujías. ¿En serio? Está atascada. Está atascada. When I said I clean up the also no. I Genial, necesito algo para desatascar. I used to operate the crane for Leroy sometimes, but I always prefer getting hands on. Won't be long, the circle of life. Leroy's trailer. He lives here all year round. You know me, Hop. Junk is my life. Let's have a look here. Ah, there it is. I found the battery. Vale, la batería. Tengo que ir buscando entre los diferentes tipos de chatarra. A ver, esta es la medieval, la milenaria. Let's see here. Couple rusty hubcaps and an old hair dryer. Nah. Nada. Uh, 
antiquísima. Okay, gas cylinders, gas cylinders. Ha, this looks like a radiator hose. Leroy doesn't usually mind me, but hard to. Vale, entonces qué me falta? Los tres me faltarían los la bujía. The Cahill G Space Things almost. Falta la bujía y también falta el refrigerante. Jake's compressor. These things are expensive. He was. Okay. Vale. Mrs. Deadman's underwear is worth more than she knows. Las medias como corre de transmisión. El manguito del radiador lo cambiamos. La batería va ahí. Entonces queda el refrigerante y la bujía. Sí, porque el aceite estaba bien. Vale, las bujías. Está atascado. Necesitaría algo de grasa o algo así para desatascarlo. Weirdly, the pantyhose was the least gross thing in there. A ver si tiene algo en, en la casa. I suppose I could get rid but I prefer to keep I think Calvin left most of these coats behind when he moved out west. Well, they're mine now. Ah, uh, I should clean this place. Eh, tomorrow. Sí, y mañana dirá lo mismo. A lot of old stuff. I like old stuff. The rule is you can't argue with the rule. Ah, todo esto es cocina. Nada, nada. No creo que tenga nada aquí. My old Gigamaster Family Entertainment System. I lost too many hours on the old GFES. No, no creo que tenga nada en su casa. A ver qué hay dentro. Es un tarro vacío. el tarro sea para el refrigerante Hey Leroy Hey Hop a ver. 
parece que la palanca de la grúa está atascada. Vale, la botella de refrigerante. Which kind you need? Um, are there different kinds? Sure, take a look. Naranja, rosa, a ver, G12, 13, 18, E10 y E12. Wow, what's the difference? Use the wrong one and your radiator's kaput. That's the difference. You really don't want to put organic coolant into a copper brass radiator, no sir. Right. Never mind. Vale, pues tengo que volver. Tengo que volver al coche. El refrigerante es rosa. I think the engine needs some more coolant. Es rosa y parece que esto al ser amarillo supongo que será de cobre. Whoever made that statue must have a screw loose. It freaks me out. A ver que me lo vuelva a repetir otra vez. Could you pass me up? Sure. Vale, es rosa, así que tiene que ser uno de estos dos. Bueno, aquí hay otro. Y What was it? You got to choose the right one for your. Like I said, never put organic coolant into a copper brass radiator. Vale, es de cobre. What was it? Like I said, never put organic coolant. Y no puede ser orgánico. Never mind. About those. Yep. Could you pass? Sure. Vale, pues tiene que ser el E12. El único que es rosa y ah no, el el G18 también. Cualquiera de los dos a lo mejor. G18 o E12. I need a bottle of G18. You sure about that now? I know what I'm doing. All right then, here you go. Thanks. Let's talk. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. Vale, a ver si es este. Espero que sí. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the right coolant. Ah, bueno, aquí pone G. Claro, no lo es lo que no había mirado. Aquí pone G algo. Vale, pues ya tenemos el refrigerante, todo excepto la bujía. Y para las bujías necesito algo de, de lubricante. No need to snoop around here. Hey, this telescope is pointing right at Mrs. Dedman's <laughs> bedroom window. What? No, it isn't. But I wish you You're not too old for me to give you a hiding. 
A ver si, hey, si este me da algo. Hello. Eh, no. El coche aún no funciona, pero sigo intentando. Jake really did a number on the old girl. Thanks, Harper. Well, guess I'm going to go. Do Excellent. Vale, puede ser que haga falta algo diferente a vida para peces. A lo mejor no realmente no hace falta grasa ni nada así, hace falta algo diferente. Quizá echándole esto o la comida para peces, vete tú a saber. ¿Dónde puede haber algo de aceite? En el coche, en el coche vimos, es claro, claro, en el coche vimos que había aquí un depósito de aceite y es aquí donde hay que... El, el aceite está correcto, vale, si cogemos el, el bote... I could fill this can with a bit of oil, but I need a way of getting the oil out of the tank first. Vale, vale, para eso sirve entonces el tubo del acuario. Hmm. I could use this hose to siphon off some oil, but it's way too long to work as a siphon. Demasiado largo, vale. Para eso tenemos la multiherramienta. Tenemos unas tijeras que podemos cortar el tubo. Bien. I can use this hose to siphon off a little oil. Okay, so I just have to suck in a little and then. Ah, qué asco. <laughs> oh, well, it worked. Vale, ya tenemos el aceite. Con esto engrasaremos la palanca eh, de la grúa y podemos bajar el motor. Should do the trick. Y ahora tiramos de la palanca. ¡Hala! Creía que le iba a bajar, pero no. De bajar nada. Hey, there are some spark plugs in that engine. Listo, las dos bujías que me hacían falta y es lo último que queda para reparar el coche. I fixed the car. McBride will be like, Oh, Harper, you're, you're, you're so good at fixing cars. And I'll say, Ah, don't mention it. <laughs> Listo, reparado. Ahora hay que modificar el traje para que se parezca a los de. Bueno, vamos a hablar primero con el profesor. No, es la otra entrada. Se tiene que parecer a los trajes que vemos ahí en. Aquí este traje se tiene que parecer. Pero primero vamos a hablar con el profesor para... Para decirle que está arreglado el coche. A ver si me dice algo. Pues no, me he equivocado, es al revés. Esta es su casa. Hey, Professor. Hello, Harper. He reparado tu I coche. I fixed your car. 
Oh, wonderful. Is the bio suit ready? I'm on that. Marvelous. Vale, pues ya está. <ríe> no me dice nada nuevo. Solo me dice que tengo que mejorar el traje. Y tiene ser... The RHC outfits do look a lot like the bio, bio suit, except they have a big red stripe across and the RHC insignia on the chest. Vale, raya roja. Tenemos pintura roja. Que si la usamos. The atomizer needs to be connected to some kind of compressor. Vale, hay que conectarlo a un compresor. Sabemos que hay un compresor aquí. En el garaje este hay un compresor. Okay. Maybe I can add that red stripe with the paint atomizer. Hey, that worked pretty well. Ya está, tenemos. Artist. Tenemos la raya y ahora. Looks good. Now it just needs an RH. El logo. ¿De dónde sacamos el logo? I got the red stripe on my suit. Still need the RH insignia. Le recortamos el logo directamente del cartel. Huh, that could work. Ahí está, <laughs> lo tenemos. The insignia looks just like the ones on the RH outfits, but how do I attach it to the professor's bio suit? Mm, tenemos pegamento. Super stickum glue. Huh, the nozzle is jammed. La boquilla está atascada, vale. Tenemos que tenemos. El alicate. I'll cut the tip of the nozzle to free the glue. Done. Okay. Ah, ahora sí. Ugh, sticky. Y pegamos el logo. This will work. Looks like I have a pretty convincing RHC outfit on my hands. Y ahora sí, volvamos a a la casa del profesor. Hey, Professor. Hello, Harper. Creo que el traje está preparado. Uh, the suit is ready. Wonderful, Harper. Well done. Excellent. Then we're all set. Except, in spite of my best efforts, I haven't been able to locate the RHC treatment camp. What? You don't know where the camp is? Well, I know it's somewhere out of town. Why don't you ask around? I'm sure someone has seen something. Ugh. Alguien tiene que saberlo. Vale, ¿a quién le podemos preguntar? No hay mucha gente, así que lo primero voy a ir al, al hotel. Y voy a preguntarle, por ejemplo, bueno, alguien que sea fuera de la ciudad, Heliwell, eh, viene de fuera. A lo mejor ella lo sabe. Hey, hello all. Hey, Harper. ¿Sabes dónde está la base de tratamiento de RHC? Do you know where the RHC treatment camp is? My research might have turned it up. Why? I need to find it. It's important. Someone I know, a doctor, he's trying to cure Yeltown fever. You trust the guy? Totally. I've known him since forever. Hmm. Vale, ¿dónde está la base? So, where is the RHC treatment camp? I'll tell you what, Harper. I'm going to show you where the camp is. Great. Pero quiere algo. <laughs> what? Why? You're planning to sneak inside the camp, right? Uh, <laughs> no. No. Okay. Well, if you were planning to sneak inside, I could use some undercover pictures for my story. Great idea. That ought to make things easier for the cops when they arrest me. Hey, if you don't want to know where it is. <sighs> okay. Have it your way. 
but no pictures of me. Happy to oblige. When do we leave? No time like the present. Let's go. Oh, I hate this suit. I'd say that suit is the least of your worries. That radio message. My goodness. What do you think it means, Professor? I think it means we ought to work fast. Take the syringe and draw the blood sample, just like I showed you. I remember, Professor. It's just like when I had to give my mom her shots. Except backwards. Uh, yes. ¿De verdad vamos a hacer esta locura? Yo creo que sí. You did a good job. Your disguise is very convincing. This is our best shot at getting a blood sample from that unfortunate woman. Just act like you know what you're doing. Get in, get out. Professor McBride, do you think Patty... Could she still be alive in there? Well, let's find out. Hey, before you go... Yes? Take my camera. See if you can get some pictures from inside? No soy buen fotógrafo. Come on, Harper, it's just point and click. A total idiot could do it. Just get me a few pictures of the facility. Anything interesting, anything out of place. But try to be respectful of Patty. If she's... If she's still... All right, uh, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, buddy. Vale, vamos a hablar con el de la entrada. No creo que pase nada. Can I see your ID? Um, beg your pardon? Your ID card. Let me see it. Eh, me la he dejado en la base. I left it back inside the camp. No, you didn't. I wouldn't have checked you out if it weren't fastened to your suit. What happened? Did you meet resistance? Yeah, I, uh, huh, I guess it got knocked off. Eagle and flight. Who is this? Gary? That figures. What if someone got hold of your ID, Gary? Go back and find it. Now! Wait, no me va a dejar entrar. Ah, una valla, por ahí. The gap in the wall has been blocked with mesh fencing. I wonder if... Hey! The entrance is over here! Oops. Maybe. Pues habrá que distraerlo. Eh, quizá Heliwell pueda distraerlo. Aren't you a little short to be an RHC emergency <laughs> bueno. guy? No, the suit fits perfectly. What are you talking about? It was a... Oh, <laughs> no lo he entendido. Vale, creo que podría colarme por la valla. I think I might be able to break in through the fence. Hmm, that could work. I distract the guard while you sneak inside? Really? Are you sure? Nope. I already tried the lost tourist act on this guy once and he did not go for it. But it's worth another shot. Come on. You again. Guten Abend. I told you to get out of here, miss. Wohin fahrt diese Bus? Not open to the public. Mucho dangerous. Capiche? Can ich bitte die Weinkart sehen? Ist das glutenfrei? Listen, lady. Vale, vamos a abrir la verja con... Alicates. Okay. Listo, ya estamos dentro. Patty must be in one of these tents. Huh, it's almost empty. The medical stuff must be in the other tent. Medical supplies, I suppose. That's weird. Patty isn't here. I thought they'd have tons of medical equipment. What gives? 
and I'd prefer to keep my distance from those RHC astronauts. Vale. I don't want to have to explain what I'm doing here. Hola, Dreamer Team. Muy buenas. Uy, es que el juego es antiguo. Es del 2018. <risa> si lo jugaste de salida ya hace tiempo. Hace ya mucho tiempo. Pero me está gustando, está bien. Quizá un poquillo lento el, la historia, pero está bien, me está gustando. Vale, vamos a... Hay que hacer fotos. I shouldn't get too near those guys. They creep the hell out of me. No. ¿Y una foto a esto? There's no patience here. What gives? Hello, I will want pictures of this. Hey. Me pillaron. Crap. What are you doing there, recruit? Uf. La segunda aventura que streameaste en tu canal, pues eh... Ya llevas con tu canal bastante tiempo, ¿no? Entre 4 y 5 años. I was ordered to check the tents. I gave no such order. What is your designation? Field experiment phase 1. 31st of July. Yell time unit. Field I'll deal with this breach of protocol two. later. Let's move out. Yes, ma'am. Arbutus Hill unit. Field experiment phase 3. 11th of August. Greystone unit. What? Field experiment phase 4. What the hell is happening? 2019. Arundel Valley. Pues entonces jugaste a muchos juegos. Este es del 2018, de mitad de 2018, creo. Así que jugaste a muchos juegos antes de empezar con las aventuras gráficas. ¿Es ¿Qué está pasando? No sé. ¿Te llevaste el blood sample? No podía. Ella no estaba en there y me dropped la cámara. Lo siento. ¿Qué pasó? Ese sonido de alarma y los guys de RHC todos agarraron estos canisters raros. Creo que están dirigiendo hacia Yelltown. We can get a better view from that hill. Come on. They're really doing it. Good Lord. What's happening? They're spraying some kind of antiviral? No, I believe... I believe they're spreading the pathogen itself. Venga, ya no puede Jesus ser. Christ! Deliberately spreading the disease? That's insane. Why? Oh, this is what Patty was trying to warn us about. God damn it! ¿Por qué están haciendo eso? Están, están esparciendo ellos mismos el virus. Can we stop them somehow? It's too late, Harper. You know how fast this disease acts. We should get out of here while we have the chance. But what if I, what if I got you a sample of the disease? Those canisters. They must contain the pathogen. The canisters. Papa, do you think you could follow them and bring back one of those canisters? Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, Harper. It may be too late for our friends in Yelltown, but this is our only chance to save other people. Okay, get the car ready. I'll be back soon. Vale, pues hay que conseguir una muestra del virus. what you're doing. Me too. Vale, van... Se van cambiando de sitio. Supongo que es... Me pillan. Hmm. Vale, se lleva, se lleva la muestra de virus. Jeez, that was close. Stop right there. What? I try calling your buddies and I'll make that suit look like Swiss cheese. Eh, ¿qué le digo? Yo estoy de tu bando. I'm on. 
I saw what you guys did. What the hell is happening here? I'm gonna be generous and give you one chance to explain yourself. Yo también quiero detenerla. No me deja hablar. Hola. 